Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I hope you don't get tired of hearing this. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This is a lounge picture from the Hindenburg Airship 1936. Why is South America, Africa and North America completely flooded in this map? Mud floods, before and after. St. Mary Magdalene Catholic Church, Omaha, Nebraska, 1908 after excavations. Notice the door is now a window. The official explanation is given by archaeological science. You see, the accumulation of dirt and debris outside your house apparently adds up to about 50 inches every hundred years. Apparently, city dwellers on every continent across the earth, in Moscow, the Czech Republic, Denmark, London, New York, Boston, Seattle, Oklahoma City, and Cairo, were too lazy to pick up a broom. Whenever we hear about Petra, we are shown the same photo, but there are actually way more interesting curiosities outside this complex. Supposedly from 400 BC, I believe much older. If you examine this structure closer, you will soon realize that this whole complex looks like it has been hit and melted by some sort of energy weapon or bomb, resulting in melted stone. For example in Vedas, there's a poetic description about weapons, and its power that was used on an enemy. Depictions of a weapon that blossomed like a flower and turned birds into ash instantly. What could possibly melt granite rocks in ancient times, if we were supposedly pulling carts with horses at that time? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In April 1561, a strange celestial phenomenon was recorded at dawn in Nuremberg. Witnesses noted hundreds of spheres, cylinders, and other strange objects, moving chaotically in the sky. People described it as an aerial battle. This was followed by the appearance of a large black triangular object, and then, its crash outside the city. What could it have been if mankind had no flying machines in those days? A more intelligent life form? This fact is officially documented, the documents are in Switzerland, the city of Zurich. The Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance, a K of the Five Eyes Club, emerged during the Cold War era when several countries signed an intelligence sharing agreement, Yakuza. Initially, the US and Britain agreed to exchange data, so they tried to combat the intelligence of the USSR. In the late 50s, Canada, Australia and New Zealand joined the treaty. These five English-speaking countries formed the Five Eyes Club, as it is known today. Over time, the data-sharing treaty linking these five countries became more and more advanced, and now it also includes surveillance of online activities. Mysterious map. This map was purchased by Chinese collector Liu Gang in 2001 at an antique store in Shanghai for $500. It is dated 1763, but bears the inscription. 
This map was drawn by Mo Yi Tong, a Qing Dynasty subject, during the reign of Emperor Gongli in 1763 from an original map of 1418. The Chinese map, however, already shows both Americas. Both the west and east coasts are shown. And this is 74 years before Columbus arrived there. London, New York, Florence, Geneva, Washington, and Dubai. This is not one arch in a Photoshop background, these are real objects from different cities and countries, with different patterns and histories. Let's be honest, small protruding side elements or patterns located at human height have a much better chance of breaking off than the top center element supported by the structure on three sides. Does no one wonder how it came to be that all the arches have a broken or removed central element? Judging by the similarity of the destruction, the element was destroyed on purpose. In July 1944, Waldemar Yulzred made a high-profile discovery in the Mexican Acambro. He discovered statuettes depicting dinosaurs, animals unknown to us, reptiles, unknown deities and objects of everyday life, smoking pipes, musical instruments, etc. What struck him most about the dinosaurs was how these people could depict animals they supposedly could not see. Once again, traditional archaeology makes a mistake and chooses, despite the obvious facts, to remain adamant. The statuettes date back to 2500 BC. These are not the ruins of one of the many Stalinist empire houses of culture, as you might immediately think. You would never guess that this building is in equatorial Africa. In Ibisau, the island of Balama, its former capital, long abandoned by the Portuguese colonizers, and in such a derelict state ever since. But I was struck by the incredible resemblance not only of this building to our palaces of culture, but also of the apartment buildings to our houses that supposedly German prisoners of war were building with us after the war. These decayed, gingerbread houses, so similar to ours, were once inhabited by the Portuguese. Even the stone fences are exactly the same, amazingly. Every fairy tale has only its share of fairy tales. In today's world, the word fairy tale is understood as something invented. But it's not that simple. A tale is an oral narrative about something, a story or event told. My point is that Russian fairy tales should be taken more seriously. They have a lot to tell. I came across an original picture of the tale Repka, published in 1863 by folklore researcher A.N. Afanasyev. In addition to the familiar characters, in the picture, we see the legs of giants. The fact is, that mentions of giants is absolutely everywhere, from European engravings and frescoes, to entries in the diaries of different people. But the story is written differently, and there are a lot of inconsistencies, they don't tell about this in school. Relatively recently there may well have been another civilization on Earth, which was much larger. P.S. In 1860, Afanasiev published a collection of Russian folk legends, which was withdrawn from sale by the censorship. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.